When I first began to study the web content accessibility guidelines, it took me a long time to put everything together. In fact, it was several weeks before I really started to understand what the different success criteria were asking for. And this is despite there being a number of good resources available online. There were uh, blog posts that explained uh, specific success criteria, there were checklists, there were summaries and overviews on YouTube. And so there were good resources, but I just wasn't, I wasn't absorbing the material. And so that is in part why I created the WCAT course. I want to help, uh, I want to help everyone better understand the web content accessibility guidelines, but also I want, I want you to be able to understand them quicker than I did. It shouldn't have to take that long. And so here are some of the ways that the WCAG course is going to help. So first of all, there are focus lessons for each success criterion. So I think this is going to help when, you, when you're just looking at one success criterion, you're focusing in on that and you're, you're learning that success criterion only. You're not paying attention to anything else accessibility and just that success criterion. I think with that focus, that's going to help um, absorption. And then also there are video explanations and there are text explanations. And I think the video explanations um, alongside the text is really going to help because you're going to have the material presented to, to you in two different formats. So with the video, I'm talking through the success criterion, explaining it in plain English. And then with the text, I'm explaining it a slightly different way. So it's not the video and the text are not the same but combined, I think it's really going to help reinforce what this success criterion is calling for. And because of that, I think you're going to learn it better. Also, there are examples. Examples help me so much when I'm learning. Um, this was especially the case in the different math classes that I was taking. I always needed to see examples. The examples really helped me learn faster because then I could see the concept being integrated into practice and so I think examples are really going to help you learn the material and then I've also got curated resources and those include time-stamped YouTube videos so there's no sense in this taking any longer than it needs to but there are also, there are some really good resources available and so you don't need to go and search Google for those um, they're, they're right in the course and so I found the best resources online and I link out to them or I'll embed the YouTube video so that you have that to learn from as well. And then um, the course also contains a downloadable Excel spreadsheet checklist and this is not just any checklist. It's very organized. It will help you. Uh, there are a several columns in there to help you uh, along as you are working through the different, uh, the different success criteria. And then on the other side of the whiteboard, um, I have a few other pluses. This is in plain English. I, I, I don't, the, 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 do, the source documentation for the web content accessibility guidelines is already extremely technical. There's no need for this to be any more difficult to understand than it is. Um, I think we need to make accessibility relatable. And so throughout this course, I, I explain everything in as easy to understand terms as possible. Also, there's no fluff. So I got, I got, uh, I really mentioned this when I was talking about the curated resources, but there's no, there's nothing extra. The, the course is very lean. When you get to the lessons, they get straight to the point. There's no long introductions. It's, it's really designed for you to have the material as soon as possible so that you can begin learning. And then also, you're going to be able to track your progress. So you're going to know which lessons you've gone through and completed. And so as you go through, it's, a, it's, a very, it's very helpful to know what lessons you've completed, where you left off, so you can easily pick back up again. And then ref you can, of course, you can always reference uh, previously completed lessons. And then one other thing here is the course is very organized. It's highly organized. And I start with the uh, 2.0 AA success criteria. And then I have the 2.1 AA success criteria beneath that. And then the 2.2 are the success criteria are their own module. And I do this because you really like, I don't like to lump everything together with 2.0. You're looking at the classic standard 
and then with 2.1, and I, classic standard is my own term, that's what I come up with. 2.0 was published in 2008, so it was a while ago, but these, 2.0 contains many of the fundamentals to accessibility. 2.1 builds upon that, so with 2.1, you're going to, with, with the 2.1 module, you're going to have those 12 success criteria that are specific to that uh, new version. And then with 2.2, I, I, it's, it's looking like there are going to be six additional AA success criteria, and those will be there as well. But I think this course is really going to help you understand the material better, but also accelerate your learning so that you're not spending weeks or months learning about the different accessibility considerations. Rather, this is only going to take you hours, and this is what I have written on the bottom of the whiteboard, beginner to proficient in three hours. You can really get through this course if you're going to go straight through. You can get to, through this course in three hours and I think it's really going to help you understand um, the success criteria, what they're getting at, and also more broadly the principles. So the good thing about the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines is the principles found in these guidelines are going to apply to digital assets whether or not they're web-based. So this is really a way to learn about digital accessibility and with this course, I think you will learn, you're going to absorb the material better and you will learn much, much faster. So the course is available at wcadcourse.com and I will link to it in the YouTube description.